Ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna serve the dangerous world of fake and expired Chanel lipsticks. Why is it dangerous? Because we don't know what they put in there. It can be toxic, they can be lead. It's dangerous, it's not good for your health. We better not buy it. I usually put Chanel lip and price and shipping lowers first. I think it's produced in China. You can produce just about anything in China right now. Okay, this one. You already see by the shape of the packaging and the box. Because usually the packaging for a lip gloss it's square. This one is round. Also, the name of the product is wrong. It says Super Sports Addict Lip Gloss. And instead of the shade right here, it's supposed to be a number and a shade. It says just lips and excitement. So this is definitely fake. There is no such a product as Super Sports Addict Lip Gloss. There is Addict Lip Gloss in Dior, but not in Chanel. You can go to Chanel website. Just put Chanel lipstick in Google. And this is Chanel.com is official website. And you can check all the products, all the exact shades here. There is Rouge Coco, Rouge Allure, Rouge Allure Velvet, Rouge Coco Shine, Rouge Double Intensité. But I don't see anything like Super Sports Addict Lip Gloss. And guess what? In one week I see this. Chanel Lip Gloss. The same packaging, the same box, Super Sports Addict Lip Gloss. Read details. This is not authentic. Please make sure you're aware before making a purchase. I ordered this accidentally from eBay seller. Very good quality. Which means she probably tested it. Somebody's just honestly telling Chanel like Rouge Coco. This one looks very similar to Chanel. You can see that line, but the shape of the lipstick is very similar and they're supposed to be written Chanel over here. The box is not correct. Zero bits for now. And you can see the pictures from the same seller. You can tell by the style, by the background. In terms of investing money in Chanel makeup, um, you'd rather buy something fresh and the shade that you're gonna really use instead of buying something cheap, expired. How can you know that the item is fresh? There's supposed to be a batch code, you can see it right here. 8002. This is actually a new shade. 194 Crazy Fuchsia. I guess it's 2015 shade. So we just go to the website called checkcosmetic.net and we put Chanel. We, we can just write it here. Chanel and 8002 August 2014 which means it's very fresh. Let me check how fresh is this one. 5101. 5101. March 2012. This is expired. You don't want anything older than two years ago. And you want to keep it for a while. You want it to be fresh for one, two years. I wouldn't buy anything older than one year ago. So all those are from 2012 or 2013. This one, Chanel Hydra Soleil lipstick. First of all, I'm not sure it's the authentic one because it's supposed to be written Chanel right here. There is a mistake in the listing. Well, you can see the box right here. It doesn't look like Chanel box that much. It looks like it's produced in China and the design, the font is not correct. It says Soleil Ardent Rose Cinder 
they don't translate the shade name from French to English. Well, I guess it's fake. If it would be real, it would be expired because you can see on the Chanel website they don't produce the Hydra Sally lipsticks anymore. There are many testers, so these lip glosses are testers. There are many lip liners which are testers. This is a tester. Is it safe to buy a tester? I would say it's more safe to buy a tester because whoever wants to make money out of making fake Chanel, they would not do a test. It's too complicated. They would just produce a fancy, regular lipstick and sell it for a good price because you can't really sell a tester for such a good price. It says Rouge Coco, the shade is 08 La Pausa. It can be correct, it can be authentic, but La Pausa is a very old shade. It's discontinued, so it can be expired. We can actually check the shade, how it looks like. Because if it's a wrong color, it can be fake. Chanel Rouge Coco 08. It's giving you the answer already, La Pausa. It knows. This is kind of orange. And this is kind of orange too. Um, which means it can be real. You just always have to ask for a batch code. Just to make sure it's a fresh one. You don't want to invest $20 in something that is expired. Of course you can always get your money back on eBay, but it's such an unpleasant experience. This is a new shade. I guess it's 2014 or 2015 shade. And if you buy it, it's definitely not gonna be expired because it's a new shade. All those are fake, I can tell. It's been here for a while. First of all, the packaging, the shade of the lipstick, then the shades. It says sand purple, tony, redwood, satin red. First of all, usually the names of Chanel lipsticks are in French. Sometimes it's in English, but most of them are in French. So I never heard of such a shade as uh, Redwood, Tony, and usually it's more sophisticated, complicated name. This one is definitely fake. I already checked it. So what's wrong about this one? It looks very similar to Chanel, but I checked the shades 54, 217, 207 and 114. I couldn't find it. Let's do it again. We just copy, left click, search on Yahoo or Google, and we do images. 54. You can also search for it on Chanel website. Let me check this one. It says Old Stock Chanel Idris LA Lipstick Demo. So it's an old tester. I don't see any batch code right here. Well, I don't think it's very safe to use it because after a while the ingredients are changing and the texture is changing. So I wouldn't buy it. This one is suspicious. Rouge Allure 18 Sexy. I never heard about this shade. Let me check. Sexy. It does exist, actually. So I was wrong. It's probably authentic. This one, Chanel Aqua Lumiere, Lip Shine, Copacabana. It's probably expired. It's not even the picture of the product. It's just some picture from the blog. I mean, already by the name you can tell. It's a discontinued shade. Probably a very old shade. I wouldn't buy it. These are all new shades. 2015, 434 Mademoiselle. There was an old version of Mademoiselle 05, and this one is a new one. 408 John, 428 Legende. You can see on Chanel website, it does exist. Jean, 
Mademoiselle and Legendre. It does exist and the colors match. The shape, the name on the lipstick, it's supposed to be the same. These are good. Why would people sell it cheaper than in the store? They probably got it as a gift and they don't like it. So they just sell it for whatever they can sell it. Just beware of sellers who have many lipsticks because it's suspicious. This seller has only three lipsticks and it makes sense. I wouldn't buy a lipstick which is more expensive than $25 because you can buy it on Chanel website for $30. Just add $5 and buy fresh, authentic. This one looks authentic to me, but always ask for a batch code. It says Chanel lipstick 61 rows, rear size. Well, you can see the shape of the lipstick is wrong and there's supposed to be written Chanel right here. So just a rare size means it's fake. Oh, this one looks so wrong. You can see the packaging. It's pretty, but it's definitely not the regular packaging that we get used to. You can always see the buyer's location. If it's in China, it doesn't mean that it's fake. People sell authentic product in China too. It's just if they have hundreds of lipsticks from China, that's suspicious. And don't hesitate to try it in the store so you know the quality. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel.